G'day guys, welcome back. I'm gonna go again with the rose garden pour. If you guys saw the last one, uh, you would have known that I wasn't that happy with this flesh tint. It kind of went a bit yellow. So I've taken that out and I've popped in the raw sienna. And also the green oxide was making weird shaped cells. So I've taken that out and I'm using banana leaf. So that's what I'm doing. The other colors are the same. Um, spot on treadmill silicone for cells as usual. I'll get started and I'll tell you what I'm doing along the way just to save a little bit of time. So two drops in each. Now I have decreased the white and increased the colour. I think I might have told you previously when you're doing the sandwich pours, two parts white, one part colour. My previous one I had one, uh, two and a half parts white and one part colour and it was just a little bit too pale I thought so I've gone back to my two to one. <clears throat> I'm going to stir this in really well. I don't want any big blobs of silicone. I got a couple of blobs last time. I didn't stir it this well. So those are the two changes I've made. Um, I'm using, so I've told you about the green and the brown and I've got rose and then I've got this burgundy that I make up myself. So those are all the global impasto colours and the white I'm using the Montmartre Studio Acrylic because it's a lovely white. It stays nice and true. It doesn't split. Uh, so that's it there. The white is a little bit thinner. It doesn't really leave a mound, but the other colours do leave a little mound. You do want your white to be thinner than the others when you're doing sandwich pours, otherwise your cells can't come up through that heavy, thick white paint because it's a um, an opaque colour and the cells don't come through. So make your white a little bit thinner, that way you can get nice big cells and the cells will come up like even in that last one I did there were sections there where the cells didn't want to come through which is okay you know it's a sandwich pour and you are expecting to have lots of white so if you have some white negative space without cells that's fine too doesn't matter but you do want the cells to be able to come through so don't have your white paint too thick I'm going to do the same as I did last time Start this way with that cup and start this way with this cup. It's quite frothy the last lot of paint. So I just mixed it up. And um, after the video I actually had to get my bamboo skewer out and pop some bubbles and then I gave it another little torch and I've got a few more cells come up. But anyway, I've, I've put a photo up, I always put a photo up with the video so you guys can see. What it looks like at the end. And then you do have to wait about a week for me to show you the finished product because my paintings take about five or six days to dry because it's so thick. I have so much paint on the surface and the paint's pretty thick. So it takes, you know, five or six days, depending on the weather, to dry. <clears throat> and then I can show you the finished product. Everyone likes to see the finished product. Not that they change really, but maybe a little bit darker, but they really don't change very much at all from when I say goodbye after my video. I don't know, some people maybe they think that you know, the cells all stretch out of shape and they go wonky and I don't know, they don't change, it stays the same. So same colours, just got the burgundy on the bottom there and the burgundy on the top there. I'll see how this brown goes. So this is a little practice for um, if you missed the previous video, my pouring friend Beck, she wants to do a painting for her friend for Christmas and match in with her bedroom colours. So I just thought, oh, that sounds nice, I'll have a go. And um, she can 
Same so from doing the experimenting and I can have a bit of an experiment as well. And then she can see which one she likes, whether she likes that first one, which was a lot more pale and it had the flesh coloured sort of beigey colour in it, but it did go a little bit yellow or whether she'll prefer this one. And then when she comes back to in a couple of weeks to do her pouring workshop with me, it's an intermediate class, so she'll be doing a big canvas. I have four ladies at a time to do the intermediate class because it's such a big canvas. We can only fit two on each table, depending on what people do. I've got one bigger table and one smaller table, so sometimes I can take five if I've got three on the big table, two on the little table, but we'll see. So that's what she's going to do when she comes to do her class. It's quite dark there, doesn't it? I'll do that one, do that one, and then turn it around and do that one. So, and I like to experiment. Really love my sandwich paws. <clears throat> Don't start coughing again. You start coughing and you can't stop. Hey, so just don't start. All right, let's do this. I won't try not to drag down there because I get the stripes. I'm just going to kind of flip it over if I can. Oh, goodness. That's um, that raw sienna. Whoa. That really took over. <laughs> I think I prefer the other one. It didn't take over so much. Maybe it'll still be all right, but I can cut down half because it kind of looks orange, doesn't it? Okay, so this one had, oh, I can't remember which one it was, but one of them had the burgundy on the bottom and one had the raw sienna on the bottom and vice versa, raw sienna on the top, burgundy on the, uh, on the top. So I don't know which is which now, but it doesn't matter. Oh, that looks pretty though. I'm glad I've got that pink there. <coughs> Let's um, tilt into the corner. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Pause it while I cough. The thing with coughing, once you start, you can't stop. All right, where's my green? Where is my green? Go over here, catch this corner. Hopefully there's some green underneath. <clears throat> there's that little bit there, but I'll most likely tilt that off afterwards once I've torched. So I'm going to do the same as last time, torch a little bit earlier because I'm enjoying getting the bigger cells. I'm not going to <laughs> leave it or to torch too early. So I'm going to, uh, I'll go over here to this corner and then I'll torch them just then I have to go to that one corner. There's a beautiful green cell there. Shame it's going to go. That raw sienna <clears throat> is doing my head in. Just looks orange. And I've got a stripe down the middle. All right, let's torch. Get some cells up and then I'll finish tilting. Popping bubbles. Hopefully there's, oh goodness, a bit close there. Because the mix is thinner than I would normally use, the um, cells are quite reactive because, you know, the, the mix is thinner for a sandwich pour. I do tend to have it thinner. We're only getting white through here. Some green in that corner. What's in the middle here? Hopefully I'll get some green popping through. 
quite a big block of white there. <clears throat> okay, that's it for now. Uh, let's do a bit of tilting. So I'll go left, right, left, right and over there. Oh, I just dropped something in there. Where's my tweezers? Um, oh, my tweezers gone. Oh, there they are. I stick them into my gloves box, into the cardboard. You would have to be right in the middle, wouldn't you? Oh, now I've made a flower. Pop that little bubble. Okay, let's do this. Disappointed about that raw sienna going so orange like I would never have thought it would have done that that's just don't like that at all mm, I'm having trouble getting to this corner that's okay got plenty of paint wherever it goes Well, this does not look like a rose garden at all. The green just has vanished. I need to get that little bit off down there. And what else can I do? What else can I do? Not much at all, really. Cells are pretty. But, um, yeah, not rose garden-like at all, I must say. <clears throat> so I think if I'm going to use this raw sienna again, I would really cut it in half. Only use a tiny bit. But, yeah, I don't know. I, I think the, the first one's better. I do. Even though I've got weird-shaped cells with the green, at least the green showed up. What about if I put the green next to the white instead of the raw sienna next to the white? Maybe that would have been better. Because it would have been on top. Oops, that doesn't match. Get off. And a little bit of green. There. Yeah, it doesn't look like a rose garden at all. Tiny little bit of green over here and that's it really. Popping bubbles. tiny cells coming up but not much really might get I'll take a little bit off here just because that raw sienna is so overpowering. Now I've just got a stripe down the middle. I guess the first one was better because I kind of did this and did that. This one you can see the two separate cups for sure. So I don't know. So now those cells are too big and these ones are too small so I kind of need to go back that way again. All right, I'm just going to leave it there. Um, it's still pretty. It's just not a rose garden. I think the first one was better, even though it had the, the little weird shaped cells in it. All right, I'm going to get you down for a close up. I'm not going to show you the other one because it's so wet. It's under my 
table. So yeah, just a shame here, the raw sienna really, really took over. You know, a little bit of it's okay, but there's so much of it. It just looks orange and pink and white. Hardly any green at all to be seen. That's a pretty cell there, that, that little pink one there, burgundy with the white around it. Lots of white cells. And a little bit of green up there. That's about it. I wonder what the green is, if it says on the jar. Uh, semi-transparent mm, okay and what's the red uh, green oxide oh, it doesn't say alrighty some pretty cells in the center here And there we go. All right, I think I'm done with the rose garden. Um, I think the first one was better. You guys let me know what you think, but I think the first one was was better. Yeah, this uh, raw sienna just totally, totally is a bully and took over the whole thing. <laughs> All right, it's just a quick one today. 17 minutes. And um, I don't know what I'll do next. Any requests? What would you like me to do? Let me know in the comments below. And uh, I'll try and get back to everybody. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.